criteria when you get started just to get things going and to have people be familiar with what you're doing, where you found the stuff that you're working with, and then what inspired you about the materials to do what you did with them, and what kind of problems or solutions you encountered, and then the process you used to do what you did. Okay, well, first I did the balance. I think everybody's seen this quite a bit. Yeah, but you can tell us. And that. this was out of my bathroom. It's been a scale that's been there since day one, you know. And decided to um, get soles at the Greg store, get nails at uh, Ace Hardware, and get one of these at uh, a ceramic place, actually, so the location for the clock. Yeah. Yeah. And we just kicked it together. And if anybody, I put it at 260 because anybody weighs 260 pounds should not be messing around with a scale. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> Meanwhile, I went, we went, what was that guy we went to? Uh, oh, wow. Kind of gay, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Marty go out of me. It's I know, I know. So cool. yeah, um, went to. That was up, uh, down at Dave, uh, Apache. Salvage is where you Yeah, Apache Salvage yeah. get the fat, flipped it over a little bit to get, you know, pick up more wind, I figure, yeah. maybe. And then painted it with um, metallic paint. And I've got to uh, show in the competition of this style of painting. It's sort of a Mexican style of painting that I learned down in Mazatlan, mm -hmm. where you just do the imagination. You don't use a photo or copy anything. Just strip it from your imagination. It's no big deal. And so the show's competition between the dog, the cat, and the fish, and the duck trying to make peace with them. Mm -hmm. And these are bicycle, uh, kids' bicycle oh, yeah. uh, oh, okay. uh, nice. yeah. And these are, by the uh, grace of God and uh, the kindness of Har. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's the Mardi Gras leftover, right, Dale? <laughs> my first piece and I found the materials, most of them in alleys, uh, little seed pods and some of the twigs and some of the material I found in my studio and the earring I found in the parking lot outside <laughs> and this is one of the bones that I put in my yeah. little treasure chest over there and I found this in the railroad track, she needed a stand. Yeah, it yeah. works very nice. Um, I was inspired by this little pod because it reminded me of breasts. And problems I encountered was this broken half, but um, I broke a safety pin and stuck it onto each side of the pin, put it back together again. And the process was um, she she just happened um, she just spoke to me and asked to be made. Mm -hmm. I didn't think of her. She, it came from her. Right. And the other piece that I've been working on is a mask. Mm -hmm. And this is, uh, the material is mostly from the railroad tracks mm -hmm. we hiked. And the bones are, <laughs> I don't know, I have bones everywhere, so they're mm -hmm. part of my collection. Um, the gold and copper leaf I also have from glass working, okay. and um, I just, uh, when when I found the metal, I knew it was a mask, and I just decorated it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. This is sort of a materials study. I found these white, they're really white twigs at um, Scottsdale Community College. They're some kind of a, I don't know what kind of tree it is, but they just, the tips just sort of fall off and you get pieces anywhere from this long to this long. And they're really, really, really flexible when they are first on the ground. So the first thing I did with them just to see what I could do was I made shapes, like little triquetra shapes and little stars and circles, whatever I could. And some of them I used um, tire wire to wire together, but the other ones are just sort of uh, well, I had to, to bind the ends, um, but once they dry, they're they're pretty well. They stay the way that 
that they dried, and it took about a week for them to dry. So this is just an experiment. It's not supposed to be pretty, but I think it could be pretty cool if you kept doing it and had a lot of work. So where where'd you find the material? <clears throat> These were at Scottsdale Community College, out mm -hmm. in front of the art building. There's just this, or as you're walking from the parking lot <coughs> to the art building, there's a row of these trees. Mm -hmm. And so as I walked by, I just kept picking up the pieces that fell. But the other thing I did with them is braid branches together, and I just wired the end, the ends. And this one broke, but it it had already dried, so the braid didn't come undone. And I made a big tree out of these, but then my cat broke the tree. Um, <laughs> so so um, <clears throat> these, I the process was I just wrapped um, two or three branches around a jar or a bottle, and I wired them together, and then I, they had to dry for about a week before I could take them off, and they wouldn't spring. But now they're little people. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm still working on what exactly I can do with this, but... That's my material study. Um, I found this little drawer at the As Is uh, furniture shop, and then I found this little guy at Cucumber Z's. After class started, I got inspired to look for little things. And it's not quite finished, but I'll tell you what it's about. Um, my dad was all, always gone, you know, treasure hunting or poetry reading or, you know, who knows what, womanizing. So <laughs> yeah, I always wanted him to come home, so it's just kind of a personal piece, like, you know, and I was born in L.A., so I got... Um, uh, LA map that I found in my dad's old stuff and he has like hundreds of poetry books so I was going to, it's not quite finished I was going to collage um, or put a poem, something either on this one hmm. with a poem about it or this one, I couldn't really decide which one you know will look the best but that's what it is and then the dice is 51 um, that's when I was born, 1951 Oh, and this, these things I found at the as is too. I love that place. It's so much fun. This little doll I found just at a, um, one of those antique stores in Glendale. I always like to collect little things and put them in my mosaics. Very nice. So. Uh, this is a... Uh, my wife and I owned a, uh, a ranch in New Mexico. And we were kind of poor, and we were it was really freaky how we got it, and we couldn't really afford it. And there was no, there was only land. There was no building on it. And we finally sold it because we would drive there. It was nine hours. It was really a drag having a cabin with no cabin. <laughs> so we finally sold the thing. We're really happy to. But the last day I was there, I was going around the property. It's 163 acres. It's pretty big. So I was going around the property, and I was just collecting all this stuff that I found on the property. And I found this rock, which I mean, is in the perfect shape of a house, and right by it was this nail and this um, rusty old coat hanger. And I just, it just immediately captured you know, my attention because it looked like the house that wasn't there that I really wanted. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of bittersweet. You know, I'm leaving the property where I don't have the house that I really want, but it was a good thing because ultimately I'll get the cabin like our rich professor, Joe Willie, who has a nice cabin up in the mountains, but, you know, I, I'm not there yet, but I'm going to get that, and that, that's what inspired me about this piece. I have it in my house, and it's underneath a really cool um, painting that somebody did, and uh, it reminds me constantly to work harder and get my cabin, you know, and so it's, it's very inspiring. Um, anyway, I was trying, and then I was walking down my street, and I found this whole box of junk and this plastic cactus was in there so I and I have a lot of stuff at my house now so I'm I keep trying to figure out what what to do with it um, I had a friend over and we were talking about it and I was talking about putting these on a pipe and I have some other kind of strange toy pieces but um, she said I don't think you have enough pieces she said is there some way you can do it so that you can see through it and so then I started looking for the base. And I got thinking, well, you know, I could make some kind of a crazy flower out of this plastic cactus. And so I was at Tuesday morning. <laughs> <laughs> and I found this um, plant holder. And I thought, oh, okay, that's wire. And it also had a little, um, like a pan in the bottom of it. And so I put some holes in that and wired it on so it holds the cactus up higher. Um, I thought I was going to glue it on with um, liquid nails. That didn't work. 
Um, so then I ended up using my glue gun, and I ran out of glue sticks last night. So I still have more things to add onto this, and I could even get more, find more pieces. I was going to actually use these to reinforce these, which, there's the way you did it, um, I was going to kind of get them like chains hanging down to each side. Yeah. And then cut up the pieces that we found throughout everywhere and put them all around there. Mm -hmm. And then hang them from somewhere. Uh -huh. Like here. But then when I did this, I thought it was cool. I was like, oh, I'm going to make something else then. <laughs> um, it's kind of like a big earring, but mm -hmm. I was going to do something. I just haven't figured out why. Uh -huh. this, because I came across this last night. So maybe I'll make a few of them and do something. I don't know. Maybe I can get them to turn. Um, this was just going to reinforce these, just so it'd be easier to hang something. Because do you know how long it took me to throw a hole in this last night? Forever. <laughs> yeah. I'm bringing this to class, and we're going to do it there. Where's the other one? See I don't know. Yeah, this was my three chairs originally. Mm -hmm. Man, I swear, like 25 minutes, and I was like... Was your drill slipping on it? <laughs> yes. Yeah. And then yeah. I pulled in, and I broke my bit. Oh. Like, was it a metal so drill bit? Mm -hmm. well, a drill press works much better on this. Yes. Yeah. Hello. I thought it was going to be that easy, and I go there, and I'm like, I'm like dang, Not it took either. forever just to get these tools. So I said, forget it. I'm going to wait till the morning. But I really wanted to work on it last night. So these are already gone out which are going to be the circles and then I wanted to make my own holes because it's stronger than this mm -hmm. so this will probably be something else maybe I'll say it's the planet orbit or something maybe I'll get it to close 